what is smog, and how does it affect the environment? One, what is smog? When, two, words are combined into one, you get the word smog. Smoke or soot in the form of smog is sometimes referred to as smog. Air pollution-induced smog may alternatively be described as a combination of different gases, dust vapor and water vapor. The term, smog, can also refer to the thick, foggy air that makes it difficult to breathe. 2. What is smog made of? When fuels are burned, smog-forming chemicals are discharged into the atmosphere. Chemical interactions involving volatile organic compounds, VOC, sulfur dioxide, SO2, and nitrogen oxides produce ground-level ozone and fine particles in the atmosphere, NOx. SO2 and NOx are precursors, as are the VOX and SO2 is. Particulates discharged into the air by motor vehicles, industrial facilities, and human activity, are the primary sources of these precursors. 3. Effects of smog on human health. It's bad for everyone. Animals, plants, and the rest of nature. Many fatalities were reported, particularly those caused by bronchial illnesses. The deficiency in vitamin D caused by air pollution leads to rickets, which is a disease that can be fatal if left untreated. Lung cancer, bronchitis, asthma, and other serious respiratory illnesses, can all be made worse or worsened by smog. Eye discomfort is common when exposed to smog. 4. Minimize your chances of getting hurt. The Air Quality Health Index AQHI, index should be checked in your area, particularly during smog season. Adapt your plans to suit your needs. In the afternoon, when ozone levels are at their highest, avoid or restrict intense outdoor activity. Instead, engage in activities that need you to be indoors. Stay away from, or decrease your exercise time near congested places, especially during rush hour. And, if you have a heart or lung issue, talk to your doctor about additional precautions you may take while the pollution level is high to keep yourself healthy. Furthermore, to help lower pollution levels in the atmosphere, don't drive if you can help it. Instead, take the bus or train. For example, you might want to consider an electric lawnmower rather than a gas-powered one if you're looking to save money. As long as pollution levels aren't too severe, you may alternatively walk or ride your bicycle. Consider alternatives to gas-powered devices and automobiles. Maintain all of your cars to the best of your ability. Reduce your household's energy use. Don't burn leaves, branches, or any other yard trash. Learn more about alternate energy alternatives. You may want to join a citizens group to lobby for healthier air in your neighborhood. The necessity of living a sustainable lifestyle should be discussed with your children.